Yeah, this will not do. I need a haircut. We need to go somewhere. We need to take a drive. I've never gone to a barber shop to get my hair cut, even though I've been cutting my hair really short for the past almost 10 years. But yeah, it's always been on my bucket list. So there's a barber shop in Long Beach called Floyd's 99 and let's go. But yeah, I'm super excited and yeah, this we're gonna get a, a big old haircut today. So let's go. <laughs> I figure I'll give my hair a last rendezvous on the beach and have a reflection time. Let's go. This looks like a good spot. <laughs> so, as I sit here, I, I'm thinking of two things. I'm thinking of A, why is this so important to me? And B, why have I never done it before? So, why is it so important to me is, I think it's because of the fact that like, I never saw me doing it. Just because of the fact that like on someone's bucket list, like it's, it's stuff that like, you know, probably won't happen, but you really want it to happen. And so for me to put down, to get a haircut at a barbershop, like that's, that's uh, literally, it's like an easy thing to do. Just walk in theoretically and walk in, pay your money, get the first cut and then you're good to go. But for me, like walking in, in and of itself is a lot because I just think of, you know, not being enough. And like, I struggle with that a lot, but it's not being enough, like not being a, a man. So not being man enough, but then also like not, not being like tough enough or strong enough or even butch enough or like even like those things. And like, and I know you're thinking like, Chris, like who is enough? And like, who are you like comparing yourself to? Well, I do that a lot, so. Um, so yeah, the simple fact of me going is a lot for me. Like I'm nervous and I'm thinking and like, I need time to reflect on getting my hair cut, which is weird. Um, and the length that I'm going to do it is not short. Like I've, I've had my hair super short before, so it's not like a that thing. It's the act of doing it at a barber shop, which is at, uh, in my eyes, like a man place. So yeah. Um, and two, why haven't I done it before? Um, just for the simple reasons. And I think I'm ready now is because honestly, like, I don't give a shit. Like, I don't care what people think anymore. Like, if I'm not enough, then, like, I'll get uncomfortable and I'll never go back again and they lose my business. Or if it's amazing, then I'll find a place where, like, oh, my gosh, like, I'll go again. So, yeah, um, growth, I guess. Uh, so it took me 20, almost 28 years. But, yeah, I'm excited, though. <sighs> It's a lot. This is a lot of hair. So, yeah. I think it's time to do it though. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. And let's go to the truck. So I'm outside the place. I just have to walk a little bit because Long Beach parking sucks. But yeah, I'm nervous, excited, and you'll see the results. Yeah. Ready? 
ready for the reveal? I don't know if you are. Ta-da! What? I look like every other dyke out there? I was kidding. Um, yeah, this is a lot for me. I usually blend it, but it's the one all the way around. And yeah, I went to Florida. Floyd's 99 Barbershop in Long Beach, California. It was amazing, super cool, super chill. Loved the music and the guy that cut my hair made me feel so comfortable. He he was kind of cute, um, not gonna lie. But also like he answered all my questions and like everything that like I had like anxiety about or something. Like he he answered and he was super chill. He even complimented me on my bone structure. Said that it was like good for like short hair. And I was like, oh. Whoa, thank you. Um, but yeah, it was really good experience. I would definitely go back. I'm excited. Yeah, and I just, this place was super chill, like super cool, really liked it, made me feel comfortable and welcome, and I don't know, like I, I'm super excited to go back. I really like the haircut. I would like to go more towards the side eventually, but I gotta like teach my hair how to do that because my hair is like, brr. <laughs> But yeah, um, super loving it, super enjoying it, and yeah, yes. So thank you for coming along with me in my haircut bucket list experience um, at a barber shop. It was a big day, and I'm I'm excited I did it, and I'm excited I went through it, and yeah. Um, so checked off. Thank you. And I guess the lesson that I learned from it is like. What keeps me from doing the things that I want to do is my own self. Like, I could have been, like, having great haircuts my whole life, but instead, like, I was afraid of going to a barbershop because I wasn't enough. Um, but now that it's, like, I am enough, and, you know, if I want to get a haircut at a barbershop, I'm I'm a man enough, or I'm, I'm, I'm good enough, and, yeah. Bye, thank you, and what do you think? comment um below and if you like these types of videos please let me know um also let me know what videos you want to see um either questions comments topics whatever let me know and yeah let's have a conversations have you ever stopped going somewhere because you felt anxiety or pressure to be enough uh, whether it's like a barber shop or like maybe like a skate shop or like something um yeah let me know and thank you bye